Hi there and welcome to our World of the Gales bundle guide. After the Temple of the Waves and the Temple of the Flames, we can now explore our third new area in game, the Temple of the Gales. As with the previous temples, this also means that we can complete a new set of bundles. The only requirement for starting the questline that unlocks the Temple of the Gales and bundles is that you have completed the quest Echoes of the Unknown by Gina. That's the quest you receive right after getting your glider and talking to Gina in the Temple of the Waves. You do not have to complete any other bundles. You should receive letters from Eloisa and Kaleri and talking to them will kick off a series of quests that will ultimately open the Temple of the Gales. Once all tasks are completed there, the new bundles will be unlocked. The new Vault of the Gales bundles are once again located within Kilima's Night Sky Temple. If you interact with the now accessible wind-themed stone device, you can see the new bundles and all requirements. There are once again four bundles that must be completed. This video includes all relevant information, tips and maps for each step of the bundles. If you do need help with the completion of the previous Vault of the Waves or Flame bundles, make sure to check out our related guides. Let's start with the Fairy Wind bundle. It's the only bundle that requires bug hunting. The first bug you need is a Jewel Winged Dragonfly. It's an epic and quite rare bug that can only be found on the cliffs atop the Pavel Mines. Luckily, it can appear at any time of day. However, its small size makes it hard to spot. Next up is the Gossamer Whale Moth. This is a rare moth that can only be found in Kilima during evenings and nights. We found it throughout the fields around Kilima village, especially the bigger areas to the west and east, as well as along Whispering Banks. It's bigger than the regular moths and of blue color. Another rare bug that can only be caught in Kilima is the Golden Glory Bee. There is a chance of approximately 10% that a bee will appear when chopping medium or large sapwood trees in the morning or during daytime. The last bug required for the Fairy Wind Bundle is the Rainbow Tipped Butterfly. This epic butterfly is extremely rare and can only be found during the morning and daytime in the southwest of Bahari Bay. While we found it in various places, one area where we personally encountered it more frequently is between the western part of the Pavel Mines Cliff and Hodari's house. Upon completing the Fairy Wind Bundle, you will receive three Bussy Jars and one Honey Lure. Both are items that can help you on future bug hunts. Moving on to the Pie in the Sky bundle. This one revolves all around cooking, or more precisely baking. One of the required dishes is a crab pot pie. If you don't have the recipe yet, you can buy it at Red's Cooking Guild store. It requires cooking level 5 and costs 1000 gold. Most ingredients should be easy to get hold of. Just make sure to have some crab as the main ingredient. The next dish that needs to be contributed is an apple pie. This might be one of the more challenging recipes to acquire, as you need to reach friendship level 3 with Delilah. Once you gain access to her room, you can learn the recipe by interacting with a book on the countertop opposite the door. And you guessed it, amongst other ingredients you will need apples to bake this pie. And there's another pie that is required for this bundle, the Blueberry Pie. The recipe can once again be purchased at the Cooking Guild store, costs 1500 gold and requires cooking level 6. The most challenging to acquire ingredient for this recipe are blueberries. By the way, if you need help with getting blueberry or apple seeds, we have a helpful guide on our channel. The last dish you need in order to complete this bundle is a chef's pie. As with the blueberry pie, the recipe can be purchased at the cooking guild store, costs 1500 gold and also requires cooking level 6. 
a variety of vegetables and chopper meat are the main ingredients here. Upon completing the pie in the sky bundle, you will receive a new cooking recipe for mushroom quiche. Next up is the cloud current bundle. This bundle requires you to catch several fish. The first fish you need is a rainbow trout. This uncommon fish can be found in the rivers of Kilima. It can be caught when using no bait and at any time of day. Next up is the thundering eel. This is a rare fish that's native to the rivers of Bahari Bay. It can be caught when using regular worms as bait and at any time of day. Another fish that can be caught in Kilima is the giant Kilima stingray. It's an epic fish that can be found in the lake, which includes the fisherman's lagoon and the entire shoreline. The giant Kilima stingray requires a glowworm as bait and can only be caught during the morning, day and evening. The last fish required for the cloud current bundle is the storm ray. It's a rare fish that can only be found in the rivers of Bahari Bay when using glowworms as bait. However, it's also one of the more challenging fish to find as it only appears during the morning and evening hours. By the way, if you are low on glowworms, make sure to only reel in the fish you need and recast your rod once the previous fish has let go from your hook. That's an easy way to save your bait. Upon completing the Cloud Current Bundle, you will receive several fishing boosters, namely two major hook time boosters, two major rod recovery boosters, and two major safe zone size boosters, and finally two major safe zone speed boosters. Last but not least, the Storm Seeker Bundle. This one is a bit different as it's more of a mini quest. You will need to contribute 6 Storm Seeker medallions. The first one you should have already received after talking to Seki for the Vault of the Gales quest. The other 5 can be found hidden across Bahari Bay. Here's a map of all 5 locations where you can find treasure chests that contain a medallion each. Check out our Storm Seeker medallion guide if you need help. Upon completing the Stormseeker bundle, you will receive a recipe for a new housing item, the Emberborn Bookshelf. If you have completed all four of the Vault of the Gales bundles, you will also receive an additional, very unique reward, a young Silverwing Nest. This is a special housing item and home to a new legendary creature, the Silverwing. You can interact with the nest once per real life day for a chance to receive one of three Silverwing eggs, granting you different levels of focus. And that's all for this guide. We hope you'll be able to complete all the bundles without too many difficulties. If you'd like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.